What? It's another thing where I have trouble distinguishing fact from fiction. Okay, so Rob is a liar. He's lying. I love it. And he tells all these stories, and now he's like being and asked about up, them, and, and he doesn't up. know if it's true or not. Did you know that a couple of years ago, a team of scientists actually voted you as the most handsome man of the world? I did know that. He does. You know did. This. Well, I know, because it's fact. Also, it was like, I would love to meet the scientist. Yeah, I would also like to meet the scientist. <laughs> because is the scientist a room full of 12-year-old girls? <laughs> I'm so bored. Robert, Zoe, how are you both? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Um, congratulations on the movie. I've got so much I want to talk to you about. I have so many questions. Uh, Rob, I'm going to start with you. You've been a part of some huge franchises before. And then since then, since Twilight finished, it's fair to say you probably haven't picked many mainstream roles. I think you've called them weirdos before in the past. Um, so what was it about the Batman that made you want to step back into the world of franchises and take on arguably the most iconic superhero of all time? The question. I know. <laughs> the answer gives the answer. I mean, it's kind of, yeah, it's... Uh, it's somewhat scary going into a new franchise where you kind of have to do multiple, well, potentially multiple sequels and stuff. Uh, I just think the legacy of Batman and the kind of the nature of the character, I mean, there's so much history to it. There's so many different ways to play it. And even before I'd even seen a script, I mean, I, and also I, I love Matt Reeves' work and uh, I knew he was going to do something special. And um, yeah, it was kind of a no-brainer. I basically said yes as soon as, as, soon as I got the call. Yeah. And I don't need a script. I don't read scripts anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Still haven't read it. Doesn't matter. Still haven't read it. <laughs> yeah, literally, do you want to play Batman? Yeah, sure. that sounds great. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Whatever, shut up. <laughs> don't um, call me again. <laughs> How'd you get this number? How'd you get this? <laughs> Who are you? Sorry, we're sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> um, so, sorry, I was doing some research, and it uh -oh. sounds like your audition was like quite intense. Rob, am I right in thinking you were wear wearing Clooney's bat suit? And Zoe, I, I believe you said that you thought you'd absolutely blown it. So, like, what happened in that audition? Um, you know, I think first of all, when you're auditioning for anything, it's nerve wracking, and especially when it's something you really want. And then when that thing is Batman, it's just you know, it's very intense. And um, and it went straight to a camera test, which is when you're in you know a proper studio with the, the cinematographer and Rob's in George Clooney's bat suit, and it's just you know it's not just like you're in a room reading a scene. It's you know it's a kind of a whole experience. Yeah, you're um, really doing it. You're really doing the thing, mm -hmm. and just yeah, just seeing Rob in a bat suit was was crazy. And then right before the the scene started, they handed me a motorcycle helmet. And they just said, you know, put this on and then come out and take it off and then start the scene. And it totally threw me off. I was just like, okay, this is how I lose the part. I lose the part by getting my head stuck <laughs> and like, you know, having my makeup just like smeared all over my face and like not being cool at all in this moment. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was crazy. <laughs> by all accounts, you smashed it. You got the job. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I did it, but it was scary. <laughs> um, so. Rob, talk to me about the bat suit. What was it like putting it on for the first time? Because that is basically every guy's dream, right? Yeah, I mean, the kind of built, you know, when you, I had 10 months to work on the script and, uh, you know, it's obviously a kind of, there's a lot of weight to the character, that with, whether it's the history or just also just his abilities and everything. And you're reading it and kind of, you can work on the psychological kind of framework for a character for ages, but eventually it gets down to the point where like, can you actually embody that uh, uh, that kind of power, I guess? <laughs> and it's very difficult to get over the doubts of yourself. And then as soon as I came in and did the costume test, I mean, it's, it's instantaneous. It was so well designed and kind of just, you could move in it so well, and you just take one look at yourself in the mirror, and you're like, oh, so that one Batman. works. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever, so when you looked in the mirror, did you go, oh, I am Batman? I actually, because I tried on a few of the other suits, and it was in the screen test, it was genuinely terrifying to do, because it's it was so, in the other suits, you're, it's impossible to move in them at all, 
and uh, and you're just pouring sweat the whole time. And when I put on this one, you could just move so much. I remember the first thing I did. I started doing. Um, I started doing roly poly. What? That was the first thing I did. Is that when you roll around on your somersault? Oh, but, uh, that's cute. Actually, I think in American, a roly poly is something different. Cartwheel? A car a cartwheel. cartwheel. That's what it's called. Mm. You, did a, uh, you did a cartwheel? Wait, is a cartwheel with the hands? No, yeah, when you no, like. No, no, yeah, like it's... a forward roll. Okay, you, you rolled. You did a roll. <laughs> a roly poly. Roly poly. <laughs> <laughs> and then they I kept adding that into all the fight scenes. Okay, so. I'm picturing you just rolling around. And the... you can do it like one or two times, and it's fine, but like. <laughs> If you do that like 10 times a row, even that, it's, it's kind okay, of painful. I'm sorry, I'll never forget the visual of you doing that. Also, <laughs> you made it sound a lot cooler than it. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> you like bend your ear after a while. So. Oh, buddy. <laughs> um, so obviously we see you face off against uh, the Riddler. Paul Dano's performance is just astonishing. I know. Absolutely incredible. Um, fans are obviously hoping that you will take on a certain clown at some point. Um, am I right in thinking, Rob, that you're actually terrified of clowns because you had a weird death experience, oh. experience of one. What? I'm learning so much about you today. Um, <laughs> I just about to go in a different direction. But like, uh, I think everyone's a little afraid of clowns now. I don't know. Maybe See for yourself, I'm into clowns. Actually, I'm, really? That's kind of weird. I'm into clowns, but like, I'm, I'm cool into with clowns. clowns. I'm into clowns. No, I'm uh, cool with clowns. No, I did. What I, kind of clowns? Because there's like, you know, like French, Clowns. Yeah, I like a French clown. Yeah. Yeah. Scary Maybe. clowns are obviously scary because scary <laughs> the, the story I read was that you were at the circus and one died in front of you, basically. What? It's another thing where true. I have trouble distinguishing fact from fiction. Okay, so Rob is a liar. He's lying. I love it. And he tells all these stories and now he's like being he asked about them and, and he doesn't like, know if it's true or not. Uh, I, so I, I sort of think it is true, but it probably isn't. <laughs> it's well, a very sad story. It's we'll true. move on. Um, Zoe, Catwoman is such an iconic role and like I, I have to ask you, and it's so much fun playing her. Is this the most fun you've ever had playing a character? And if not, who has been your favorite character to play? I do think this is the most fun I've ever had. I think, you know, Matt wrote such a wonderful script and she's such a multi-layered person, human being. And then of course, all the history that comes with this, with this character, you know, it's not often that you get to play someone that you've loved since you were a child. And so there's something about coming to work every day and living out a childhood fantasy and having wonderful, words to say and people to work with. So I had, yeah, I had an amazing time shooting this Was part. there anything in particular you wanted to bring to Catwoman to show us something we'd never seen before? I really wanted to focus on her humanity and I was really excited that Matt started, decided to start the story where we do, where, you know, mostly it's, she's, she's Selena, she's not really Catwoman yet. So I was really excited to focus on, on who she is and where she comes from and why she will become Catwoman. Amazing. And Rob, so many people are excited to see you take on Bruce Wayne and Batman. Um, and this is something I've never asked in an interview before, but apparently it's because of your jawline. Mm. I guess if you're playing Batman, you need to have a very strong jawline. Now, did you know that a couple of years ago, a team of scientists actually voted you as the most handsome man of the world? I did know this. He does. You know. did? Well, I know, because it's fact. <laughs> it's science. It's science. <laughs> also, it's like, I would love to meet the scientist. Yeah, I would also like to meet the scientist. <laughs> because is the scientist a room full of 12-year-old girls? <laughs> All like so on each other's of... shoulders in, a in, like a, in like a chair. Like Inspector Gadget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Just I'm drawing little <laughs> diagrams. <laughs> Making PowerPoints. <laughs> I still don't think that's actually true anyway. I think literally someone just made it up so everyone could just then say like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I'm not sure. Again, I made it up. <laughs> you, yeah. I would just run with it. Um, guys, thank you so much. It was such thank a pleasure you. to talk to you both. Um, I, I saw The Dark Knight in cinemas when it came out almost 15 years ago. It was a movie that made me want to start talking about movies oh, wow. and get into talking about movies and I think this is going to have the same effect on 
other people of the new generation because it is an incredible movie. Oh, amazing. Oh, Thank you so Thanks much. Thank you so much. Thank Cheers. you so much for talking to Thank me. And you. I hope we get to talk to you again soon. Nice that was you. 15 years ago, The Dark Knight? Yeah, 2008. Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Snow Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.